Hello everyone, this is Nilima, Assistant Professor Nilima Nimze from BMS Department and today we are going to discuss the subject e-commerce and digital marketing which is a TY BMS marketing subject. So in this video we are going to discuss about trends in e-commerce in various sectors. As e-commerce is one of the booming sectors so it is having an impact on the various sector but in this video we are going to cover uh, two important sectors which is retail sector and the banking sector. So very first uh, we are going to look after the e-commerce trend in retail and that very first emerging trend is AR and VR. So AR stands for an augmented reality and VR stands for virtual reality. So it, this, is, this technology brings together real world and the virtual world. This technology helps the customer uh, view the product in such a way as if they are viewing in the real life. Like for example, this particular chair, uh, I can view this particular chair as a, from, on an e-commerce website that is an uh, that is on IKEA. But at the same time, I can view in such a way as if I'm having a look on in my living room that whether uh, it is looking good, is it matching the decor of my living room, and accordingly, I can make a decision related to it. So this technology helps the customer to make the purchase decision as well uh, as well, and we could say that there are many potential companies who are using this technology such as IKEA, Samsung, Amazon, etc. But this technology seems to be more uh, beneficial for the companies such as uh, decor, furniture, cosmetic, apparel, etc. Moving towards the second trend which is rise of uh, voice commerce. So this particular technology is something where the customer makes a transaction and the purchase of the product with the help of their voice. This particular voice technology have driven the sale immensely in today's market. Here we could say that the customer with the help of their voice can search for the product. They can select the product and at the same time by talking to, to their phone they can purchase the product. Uh, we as per the recent statistic there are around 50% of the Indian customers are making the use of voice technology and making the purchase on an e-commerce website with the help of a voice technology. There are many voice assistants such as Amazon, Eco, Google Home, Siri etc. Then moving towards the next trend which is a modern delivery system. So this particular trend in retail has been started by Amazon uh, which is basically have brought in transformation in the uh, 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 delivering the services we could say. Where Amazon have started shipping the product with the drone. So here the customer experience generally enhances and we could say that the customer get their product delivered either within two hours or maximum in a day. Then moving towards the next trend which is interactive chatbot. Interactive chatbot is something which is a modern chatbot. It is nothing but an artificial intelligence which has improved the conversion rate on an e-commerce website. Now this interactive chatbot have two perspectives. Very first perspective is from customers. So customer is something while when the customer is on, on an e-commerce website. So he might arise with certain queries like queries related to the product or queries related to the price. So he can just talk with that chatbot and get their query resolved. So many time you people have also visited an e-commerce website and there is a certain, uh, we could say certain pop up which comes that is, hey, how may I help you? And that is nothing but a chatbot. And let us see from a merchant's perspective. Merchant perspective uh, says that uh, with, the uh, with the help of this chatbot that uh, they can uh, console their customers, they can qualify the leads as well as they can close the deal with the help of this chatbot. Now with, uh, with this chatbot, the customer basically, uh, the merchant basically takes a decision uh, related to the website, which whatever is the best for them. Then moving towards the next trend, which is an omni-channel for promotion and delivery. Omni-channel is nothing but a multi-channel interaction or we could say multi-channel communication which is done by the uh, companies with their customers. Now this uh, particular uh, omni-channel is something where uh, it holds 150% more brand enga uh, customer engagement uh, than the single channel communication. But this, uh, custom, uh, but this uh, particular uh, we could say this particular trend has one of the flaws or we could say the drawback. In the entire multi-channel funnel, there is one drawback that the uh, merchant or the companies need to maintain the information. There should be consistency of the information throughout all the channels. The example for it is Paper Fry, where the Paper Fry is one of the uh, furniture company where they try to reach out the customer with the store, with the e-commerce website, with the brochure, emails, etc. Moving towards the next trend which is an on-site personalization. Now or, or we could say around 40% of the Indian users are some uh, 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 prefers those companies which offer them the personalized services. Now this 
is basically improves more of an conversion rate of purchasing on an e-commerce website now your question might be on what basis this personalization has been done now this personalization is done on the basis of customers past searches and the prior search of the product whatever they have done on the basis of that the entire e-commerce website has been personalized for that particular uh, customer which definitely enhances the customer experience moving towards the next trend which is on mobile commerce so this is one of an emerging trend we could be saying and uh, this has a complete and day in and day out impact on a customer's life what happens in an e-commerce is like the customer need to uh, turn on his entire system in order to make an e-commerce purchase but in mobile commerce he just need to pull out the phone from his pocket he just need to go on an app he need to browse certain product and definitely he can land upon any purchase uh, purchasing of the product so this is one of the very emerging and booming concept in uh, the recent era then the next is rise of subscription e-commerce when we talk about this uh, particular trend then nowadays uh, buyers require tailored shopping in which they want their own preferences and they want the product to be delivered at their doorstep at the earliest so as per the statistic around 20 percent of the indian user have signed up for the subscription services here uh, it gives an hands-on hand experience because the customer wanted to have more personalized experience so for that they are willing to shell out more cash for that so in on the behalf of which they get the tangible benefit as well as the personalized offering so that's all about the trends in retail uh, sector now moving towards the next is e-commerce trend in banking so very first trend of the uh, in the banking is website sell before handedly it used to happen that the banking websites were only used for the branding or an informative purpose but nowadays bank websites are uh, been used in order to serve the sale and they present their offer on a banking website in the similar way as an e-commerce does so we could say they are also moving rapidly towards the digital marketing where they also use a factor called as KPI that is key performance indicator in which they uh, are able to look out whatever are the business objective what are the achievements of that banking objective that they have set and uh, here also you could see in an example of an ICICI bank where the offers have been made related to traveling and uh, as well as the home loan. Then the second is comparison engine for banking products. So while uh, making a purchase on an Amazon and Flipkart, you must have seen that the products can be compared. In the same way, banking have introduced a product comparison engine in which the banking products can be compared uh, through way on the on the basis of various parameters. So here also you can see that the Kotak Bank have uh, uh, made a comparison for three different products on the basis of various parameters. Now, when we talk about the comparison of banking product, then it is much more tougher or we could say it is much more harder as compared to an electronic product because it requires the prior calculations and the risk assessment. On the basis of that only the comparison can be done and then offer can be availed to the customer. Moving towards the next is a th third trend which is product search engine on a home page. So nowadays banking website have made the browsing easier for the customer. So they have placed their product search engine on the center of their home page. Now this mechanism basically avails two benefits. First benefit is like the user uh, which has certain expectations. They can uh, consistently find out whatever they are, he or she is looking for. And at the same time banks get out valuable information has been obtained uh, by with the help of this particular feature. Then here you can see in an example that SDFC bank have availed the net banking, saving account, credit card, wholesale banking services on their home page. Then moving towards the next trend which is omni-channel and banking. As I said omni-channel is something where the company or uh, uses multiple channel in order to reach out to their customers. So here the bank uses multiple channel in order to reach out to the customer such as branch, web, uh, mobile, customer portal, then uh, there is push notification, email marketing has been done. So these are various modes where the banks uh, uh, try to reach out to their customers. Now while doing this, uh, as we talk about today's users, then today's customers are something who do not make the purchase at the very first glance. Rather than that, they start with the research, then they take the opinion from somebody else and then they make up their own, then they segregate all the options and then they look, up, look after the cheaper option. So this, be, this particular trend have uh, increased the conversion rate enormously in a banking sector. Then next is cloud services. 
cloud services when we talk about uh, cloud services so before that let's talk about the banking uh, transaction that has been done so nowadays banks have been flooded with all the financial transaction and there are a lot of financial data so to have the main proper maintenance of this data the cloud services has been used now here we could say that uh, the entire uh, the entire data has been stored in this cloud uh, computing and we could say that the uh, there is an elimination of an human effort has been done so uh, we could say that there is there are lesser chances of an error uh, in this particular system now also there are certain disruptive advances uh, which can be utilized by the bank while uh, applying this cloud computing services such as big data blockchain artificial intelligence internet of thing etc then moving towards the last trend which is mobile banking now this particular trend is something where the each and every user nowadays have a mobile app installed on their mobile phone with the help of this mobile banking the customer can make the transaction they can add up the beneficiary they can uh, look after their bank balance and various offers also can be done they can have a complete track on their account with the help of that app so that was one of the mobile banking which is a running trend in a banking world so that's all for the today's lecture and thank you all